Welcome to our tutorial about construction geometry. In this tutorial, we're going to be looking at various examples of construction geometry. Okay, the first tool I'll activate is the line tool. And I'll close this profile with a three point arc. Something like this. Now let's activate the rectangle tool. Place a rectangle about here. Check for construction. Accept and activate the center line command. Place it corner to corner. Right click and select to close the tool. Now I'm going to select the origin point and this line. Let's add a midpoint relation. And click OK. Now our rectangle is centered against the origin point. Next, let's add a couple fillets to our profile. Just right click here and select Clear Selections. And place my fillets by clicking in the graphic area, Accept. We're ready for some dimensions and relations. Let's select these two lines and add a collinear relation. Now let's select these two lines, also apply a collinear relation. Control select these two lines, another collinear relation. And let's select this line and this line and apply a tangent relation. We can apply a horizontal relation between these two points, or we can use construction geometry. I'm going to select this line and apply a horizontal relation. Let's apply dimensions now. Smart dimension. Select this line. And 100 millimeters. hundred and twenty millimeters and this distance will be ninety five millimeters. Now construction geometry not only helps us constrain our sketch, but it also helps us visually understand how the sketch was built. Next, I'm going to create a circle and a couple more construction lines. Let's activate the circle tool. Place my circle here. Now align. Horizontal. And let's apply relations and dimensions. Select the line in the center of the circle and apply a coincident relation. Let's activate the smart dimension tool. Here I want to place an aligned dimension. To get the aligned dimension, I need to be really close to the line or at some distance from the line. Let's right click to lock the dimension and let's drop it about here. Make it 40 millimeters. Accept. And 15 millimeters here. Accept. And the last dimension between these two points. Here I need the distance along this line. In order to get it, I'm going to click on the line and let's enter a value of 80 millimeters. OK, exit the tool. Our sketch is black and fully defined. Let's exit the sketch. This concludes our lesson about using construction geometry.